Hello and welcome to a tutorial by COD Mapper. I'm on my YouTube page COD Radiant. Please subscribe and like for upcoming tutorials. This is part two of Terrain, and hopefully you've watched part one by now. And by the end of this, we should be able to create things similar to this environment right here. <coughs> Even I'm helping the watching the foliage tutorial should help you with this, and I'll eventually make a curve patch tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. You should already know how to do this by part one. Okay, this is the train patch. Um, <coughs> let's go ahead and go over how you would connect train patches using vertices and welding. Go ahead and hit spacebar and copy over another one. And let's say you want to connect these two vertices right here. Hit V, left click and drag over both of them, then hit W. And I have tolerant wheeled on. <laughs> Sorry. Select both of these right here. Make sure this isn't selected right here. Tolerant wheel welding. And then hit W and it'll select both of those vertices and connect them for you. Say so pat select this patch first, then select this one these two vertices will meet up at the one you selected first so let's say I select this one first then this one hit V select these both hit W and then it'll come to this one now let's do go over tolerant welding which I had on first by accident it's right here make sure this is pressed in whenever you tolerant welding see what your distance is right here hit P for preferences and look at tolerant weld and it's 50 so it'll do the weld which is in a range of 50 units which is right here. See those green lines right here? That means if you select these two, those two will go to each other using these green lines. So let's select all these right here with tolerant welding on. The distance of 50, hit W, and they'll shoot to each other. Select this one first. Of course, they'll all go over to that one. All right, that's quick tolerant welding. Make another quick terrain patch. We're going to go ahead and get to the another menu which is used for editing terrain in Radiant, which is accessible by hitting Y on your keyboard. Adva advanced patch editing options. <coughs> this inner radius is the strongest point of what you're editing. Either if it's height, alpha, smooth, whatever. It, that's the stronger part. Outer radius is like the fall off. It's, it's going to be a bit weaker there to smooth things out. Amplitude is how how much you are editing, like how fast it will edit it for you. So let's go ahead and select a patch. With Y selected, you'll see what happens is you get these radiuses. You can tell the inner radius, the outer radius right here. Now watch my inner radius. It's really concentrated in that area now see how the vertices are red where it's more concentrated and yellow and orange where it's less concentrated yellow is the lowest form alright so let's select paint height and height that'll make it so you can make things such as mountains it'll change the height of the vertices that you have selected in your radiuses so let's hold down alt and left click and drag across the vertices that you want to edit alright I had it on a bit strong right there turn it down and see I went too high right there so let's bring that back down but without hitting undo hold down alt and right click and drag it around just drag it until you smooth out a bit more and since I mentioned smooth I might as well do smooth <laughs> with height selected and smooth selected make sure your radiuses are enough to cover more than one per vertice at once turn up your amplitude a little bit alt left click and it'll smooth out all the vertices that you have selected at once that's a pretty sweet tool to use. Now that's a nice bumpy little hill right there. Actually it's a bit smooth out which is nice. Alright. Noise of course adds noise to your terrain patch. I don't use that too much. Alright. Let's move on to alpha blending. We've already gone over roughly what alpha blending does using this tool right here. So let's use this tool now. <clears throat> you flatten an alpha selected and make sure you have only a blend texture selected. You will blend this texture to show the texture underneath which is non-blend. So alt left click will blend it for you. So 
Sorry, I didn't have my alpha up all the way. It should be default right there on black. If you turn it up to a lighter shade, it'll do it'll do that a bit less. See what I mean? It'll that's about medium white. We'll bring it all the way back. Let's turn it back to black. It should be black right there, which is just easy right there. Alright, that's alt left click will alpha blend the mud away and show the texture reveal the texture underneath it so so right click and alt will bring it all back this is same with amplitude and radius and outer radius same as we did with the paint height that's a that's a really small amount of editing right there I usually turn it up a bit more all right now that's um <coughs> basic basic um blending right there so let's go on to um let's say we have another t patch over here that you want to have the same height as one of the vertices over here. Let's go to patch, simple turning patch, five by five. Okay. Let's go ahead and select one over here. Let's say I want this patch over here to be the same height as this vertice right here. Let's grab that value. Height, we want to grab the height value. So grab value and height and grab it right there. And we're going to select this and have it on flatten and it's going to flatten all them to that height. Of course, it was already at that height. <laughs> so, see how it's flattening it to that height? It stores height right here, 49. So, flatten will directly put it all this to this height. Same over here. Make a little plateau right here. That's that's good how to use flatten and height right there, grabbing the value. Um, <coughs> now let's let's say I want to change this mud to a bit darker type of mud without changing texture. This is a great way to add variation to your textures without calling in new textures. Let's go to RBG, R yeah, RGB and flatten. Let's select a color right here. Let's make it a brown. All right. So R RGB and flatting, flatten same alt left click and see how it's changing the colors of the vertices. See how it's a bit red or darkish over there because that's the color I selected. Just to show it to you, let's make it this color. That's really odd. <laughs> See how it's bluish now? That's a great way. Like I like doing that with water. I like doing that with multiple types of terrain patches. All right. Let's let's say I want this blue, but I've already selected another color over here, and I can't remember exactly what, what blue it was. We can do grab value again. So. R RBG grab value. Grab that right there. Select this patch over here. Make sure it's on RBG and flatten. And there we go. Making it blue wherever you want the vertices will be selected at. Alright. That's simple right there of advanced patch editing options menu. I hope that helps you. And please like and subscribe for upcoming tutorials.